Hello friends, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we will learn about the Project Lombok. But before going further, first let's see what is Project Lombok. Project Lombok is a Java library that automatically plugs into your editor and builds tool, spicing up your Java code. Never write another getter or equals method again. With one annotation, your class has a fully featured builder, automate your logging variables and much more. Here is the website link, so visit this and you will get some more understanding. Here are some popular annotations. Not null, just add this and stop worrying and love the null pointer exception. Getter, no need to create getter methods. Setter, no need to create setter methods. To string, no need to create the to string method. Equals and hash code, generate equals and hash code implementation from the fields of your object. No args constructor, no need to create a default constructor. All args constructor, no need to create a constructor with all the arguments. Required args constructor, it will create a constructor wherever required annotation is there. Data, this one annotation is enough to create getter, setter, to string, equals, hash code and required argument constructor. Like these, there are some more annotations like value, builder, synchronized, sneaky throws, SLF4j, those you have to explore. I think now at least we have a basic understanding then let's see how to implement the project Lombok. So here first we need to include project Lombok as part of the IDE. Click on the help then click on the about spring tool suit. Here you can see in this log nothing is there for Lombok. So to get the installation path of this IDE click on the installation details. Here you can see the path. Why I am showing all this because you should know about all these things. Now close everything, open browser and let's search for the project Lombok. Open first link, click on download. Here, let's click on the download link. Downloading starts and downloaded successfully. Open the location where this file downloaded. Now just click on this file. See, it is looking for the IDE and one IDE it's showing. We want to install project Lombok in Spring Source IDE. So first, let's add a Spring Source IDE. So click on the specified location. Here, go till where Spring IDE exe file. And here is the exe file and click on select. See now, it included the Spring Source tool suite also here. Just uncheck the Eclipse and now click on the install update button. Installed successfully. Now let's check in Spring Source IDE project Lombok is showing or not. First, here we need to restart the IDE. So let's restart. Now again, click on Help and then click on the Spring Tool Suit. See, it is not showing. Any idea why? Because when we installed project Lombok, that time IDE was open. So now let's close the IDE and follow the similar steps which we followed earlier. See, installed successfully. Let's check again. But this time IDE is already closed. So let's open the IDE. IDE opened. Let's click on help menu and then click on about. See this time you can see the last line which is about the Lombok. That means project Lombok installed successfully in Spring Source tool suite. I hope these things are clear for you. Now let's see some real time examples which we discussed as part of the PPT. See here is the book rest API project. Let's include this project in Spring IDE. Project imported successfully. Before going further, first we need to add project Lombok dependency. So open the browser and search for the project Lombok Maven dependency. Open the first link. Open the latest dependency link. See here is the dependency. Let's copy this dependency. Here, let's open the POM XML file. Now paste the copied dependency. Along with that, one more thing we need to add, like from this Maven plugin, we need to exclude project Lombok. Okay, that's it for the POM XML file. Now save this file, see dependency downloading starts. Now let's see how we can use project Lombok annotations and spicing up the Java code. Let's open the book Java file. Open outline also so we can directly observe. First add our no org constructor. 
save this file and now right side you can see the default constructor added but we cannot see it inside this file because that is handled by the project Lombok. Let's add all arcs constructor. See one more constructor added with all the parameters. Now let's remove all the getter and setter methods. Let's add data annotation. See, it supports getter, setter, equals, hash code, can equal two string methods. So one annotation is enough for everything. Let's comment the data annotation and add two string annotation. See, two string method created. Now let's add getter annotation. See, only getter methods are created. Let's replace it with a setter annotation. See, only setter methods created. So like this, you can see there are so many types of annotations available. I gave you the basic idea. Now you can explore by yourself. I hope you understood how we can remove unwanted code. Okay, now let's open book resource IMPL class. In this class, as you can see, we created the variable for the log. So there is an annotation for that also. And that is SLF4J annotation. First, let's remove the declaration. Now, let's add the annotation. See, it is working and you can see it is not throwing any kind of error. I hope things are clear for you. Now, let's run this project and see it is working or not. See, server started without any error. Let's open the readme md file. See, here are the sample URLs. Let's open the first one in the browser. See, it is working and it is not throwing any kind of error. Let's quickly review whatever we added. I hope things are clear for you. I committed these changes. I will show you from where you can find these. See, here is the GitHub page. Click on the repositories. Here is the repository. And here are the changes. I hope you learned something from this video. That's it for this video. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.